Water sanitation hygiene is a basic right, basic human right. And, uh, but the fact is, in majority of countries, especially the countries in the developing world, have limited or no access to water and sanitation for their own people. And uh, when you look at the global statistics, you will find that 11% of global population, which is around 780 million people, have no access to an improved water source. And for sanitation, it's very disturbing, it's around 2.5 billion people, which is two out of every five people have no access to sanitation. Diarrhea, which is basically caused due to unsafe water and inadequate sanitation, kills, still kills in this century around 4,000 children every single day. The other thing it underpins is uh, education. Uh, girls and boys are more likely to uh, attend school rather than spending time, you know, collecting water or being ill. If the community has good access to water and sanitation and hygiene, uh, they'll have better health. The biggest impact you can have is actually getting people to use a toilet and people washing their hands with soap. It'll reduce the, um, the number of uh, children dying by, by half. And uh, the way we design all wash projects is we make sure that around 25% uh, of the money goes to hardware, another 15% goes to the capacity building, and the remaining money is dedicatedly specifically for the software activities. And those software activities include hygiene promotion, social mobilization, operation and maintenance trainings for the village wash committees, so that once we leave that area, still the, the system has to function. The infrastructure which is created by World Vision has to run. Every one dollar you invest on water and sanitation, you will normally have four dollars of returns. We are in discussion with UN bodies on how best in future funds can be, more funds can be allocated to water and sanitation infrastructure. Uh, not only infrastructure, but also on um, other software related activities. So there's a good advocacy going on at the moment and I'm optimistic that in future we will have good funding and good results for water and sanitation.